Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have another new arrival to show you. This is the 2020 and a half Salem by Forest River model 22 RB. Uh, it's a fairly new floor plan. It comes in at 27 foot overall length and it's 5,800 pounds approximately unloaded. Um, it's rear bath, has a really cool L-shaped sofa, tons of storage, um, the all new uh, enclosed and heated underbelly and tons of awesome features uh this is not going to be a short video but uh stick around i think you're going to like what you see all right guys so we're on the inside of this new 2020 and a half salem model 22 rb and uh, as you can see you've got this really cool uh l-shaped lounge which i i think is awesome um in this floor plan especially some brands will do a dinette some will do a theater seat this kind of does a little bit of everything you've got the removable table here um which as you can see right about there that just clips off and then this stores underneath this section here um this has all kinds of storage underneath it um which is great go ahead and pop one of these open for you as you can see that one has a uh, that's actually where your table goes is underneath there and then you've got a nice plywood uh, base to uh, for another one of those totes which I'll show you here in a little bit and then you'll have the same thing underneath here and uh, this table here will, can spin this way so if you want to make it more of like a theater seat in a sense you can and I'll go ahead and drop one of these down and as you can see, you've got more totes underneath there. This is not, I'll open this one. Uh, they're the exact same thing on the other side. And this section here will is a jackknife sofa, um, which that will make into a rather large bed, um, which again is really cool. Um, I had to shut this window shade because it's a huge window and it's letting a lot of light in. Um, but uh, that's another good thing about this one is it's light, open, and airy feeling, which is great. All right, now let's go over here and we'll take a we'll kind of do the living and kitchen area in a couple or in one pass. Um, so Salem and their sister brand, the Wildwood, are now exclusively 12 volt fridge units. Um, so you've got a 10.7 cubic foot compressor driven. 12 volt only fridge now this does not require an inverter and what's cool about that is you don't have to have another piece that could possibly break um, and this thing only uses three amps of power which is super boondock friendly um, if you have two batteries and a hundred watt solar panel you can go off grid as long as you want which is great um, and then they added for this year the little travel lock thing, which keeps your doors from popping open in transit. All right. So one of the cool things about Salem, and I, again, this applies to Wildwood as well. They're the, um, they're the same trailer. So if somebody's trying to upsell you on a Wildwood versus the Salem, they're the same thing. There's no difference other than the decals. Um, but anyways, so one of the cool things is these are six foot nine sidewalls instead of six six and the cool thing about that is you get taller slide outs taller cabinets taller showers taller bunks if you're in a bunk model um, which is really cool and the other nice thing about that is um, it makes it feel more open which is again really cool all right so over here in the kitchen, you've got a really, I think it's a nice setup personally. Um, down here you've got your uh, uh, propane leak detector and your fuse panel there. And then over here, you've got awesome countertop space, four, count them, four outlets. Um, there's your thermostat for your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. Um, speaking of that, we have applied the optional 15,000 BTU main AC uh, unit to this particular one. Uh, uh, since we're down in, in uh, Texas, it gets pretty hot down here, and trust me, you're going to want that bigger AC, uh, based on my uh, experience. 
I'll go ahead and start opening up some of these. You'll notice you've got great cabinet space. Uh, they put the shelf in there for you, which is really cool. Most brands wouldn't do that. And then it wraps, as you can see, all the way around in the corner and all the way over here too, which is, again, really nice. And I like their wood look. It's got kind of a, it's modern, but at the same time, it's kind of rich. And then, of course, they do the uh, kind of honeycomb looking glass panels to break up some of the wood uh, look. And over here, you've got your microwave. Again, this one's 20, 27 foot and it's 5,860 pounds unloaded. If we drop down, you've got your uh, Greystone uh, three burner cooktop and oven combo. It does have the blue lights like everybody wants, automatic ignition. Um, it's basically a copy of the Furion, essentially. Um, and then you've got, ooh, man, that glare is awful. Over here, you've got your, uh, your nice uh, pull-out sprayer faucet, aluminum drying rack there, nice uh, sink or double bowl sink, which is really nice. Uh, one of the changes that they did uh, for this year is everything is now a pressed membrane uh, thermal foil style countertop. So you notice there's no T molding here to pop off or anything, which is great. Underneath here, let's get out of that glare. Man, you've got a couple of full extension uh, plywood box drawers. And then, oh man, that glare is nasty. And then you've got uh, a couple, uh, or a nice spot for a waste basket there. And uh, back behind here is, oh, is your, uh, your water heater. Again, pardon the glare. If I pull those mini blinds down, it's not really gonna help much. All right, so over here in the entertainment center, you've got a nice open spot for a TV, kind of a nice accent wall there too. I think it looks great. You've got your Furion sound bar right here. That's AM, FM, and Bluetooth. They sound great, uh, by the way. So if you are if you like to listen to music, this will take care of you very well. And it'll also control your outside speakers as well. Here's your main control panel. You've got your slide, your awning, water heater, water pump, and some lighting controls, which is great. Uh, all LED lighting too, by the way. And then down below, you've got your... Uh, your fireplace it's a 5200 watt space heater essentially and it is uh or it'll help supplement your heater or your furnace i should say um, this will not replace your furnace if it's going to get below freezing you need to turn on that furnace because um, if not you're going to risk uh damaging water your water systems all right and rounding out the kitchen and living area you've got this nice pantry and that's one thing that this floor plan does really well is storage um, because you get all this and they did put the little lips here so if you have some stuff that you don't want to fall or that you don't want to fall um, it'll uh, it'll keep it um, what if you're really concerned about it, what I would recommend doing is putting some command hooks on either side and running a, like a, a small bungee cord across each each one, and that, that should uh, take care of it. And you'll also notice there's a light up there too. All right, guys. Uh, last couple things. You do have in-floor ducted heat. Notice that nice, uh, I forget what that's called, um, herringbone. That's what it is. Uh, print on the floor. You'll notice you do have a little bit of carpet here in the slide out. That's just to make the slide out function properly. Uh, we're gonna jump now to the bathroom and I think you're really gonna like the way this bathroom is laid out. Uh, I know I sure do. All right guys, so we're stepping into the bathroom of this 2020 uh, Salem 22 RB. And since RB stands for rear bath, we might as well spend quite a bit of time talking about the bathroom in this unit since it is the main focal point. So when you walk into the, uh, before we walk into the bathroom, I do want to point out, you've got this nice sliding pocket door. And you notice it does have a little magnet here, which will clip over here. That way it kind of acts as a lock, but not really. Um, but it's, it's better than not having that where it could just slide open whenever it wants. All right, but walking into the bathroom, if you turn to your right, you'll notice the 30 by 36 inch shower. 
Um, this is great. I'm 6'2", and I can stand up in here just fine. Um, and you notice they do give you the uh, shower surround panels. Um, we do like to bring in all of our Salem's with the optional skylight, um, which it's for tall folks especially, it's going to make a world of difference. Um, up here you've got your powered vent fan. And then back behind the shower, you've got this nice, oops, there it is, you've got this nice linen closet. And personally, I think this is great. Um, we have another competing brand that has this floor plan, and they don't have this, which is, I, that was the one thing that I felt that uh, they got right, was putting a nice linen closet in here. Um, plenty of room around the toilet. You notice you do have a in-floor ducted heat as well as if we pan up, you've got the uh, AC uh, window that opens and this does have the same pull down roller shade just like the rest of them. It's high up enough where you're really not gonna worry about people looking in. All right, and if that wasn't enough storage for you behind on the back side of the shower, take a look at this. So you've got kind of like a dresser space here and as I pan up, you'll notice a nice open cabinet with a hanging bar. So you've got more hanging storage and I have never seen a camper that doesn't have, uh, or that has too much hanging storage. Um, if we open this up, you'll notice a nice little medicine cabinet here. Um, does have a mirror on there. Nice little accent wall too, by the way. GFI protected outlet. Again, thermal foil countertops. You've got more storage underneath here, which why talk about it when I can show it to you. As well as plumbing access and plenty of room for any other of your other bathroom accessories that you need to uh, that you need to have out. As well as a nice big sink. All right, guys, let's jump up to the bedroom now, and we'll take a look at the, some of the storage and features up there. All right, guys, so we're walking into the bedroom now, and of this 2020 Salem. 22 RB and you'll notice you have the same pocket door actually let me get around to this side of the door you got the same pocket door here that you have in the bathroom which is nice um, and again it's it's a nice thing you still have the little magnetic thing here you have got uh, USB and household outlets on both sides of the bed and then the other cool thing which you can kind of see over here You've got a nice little cutout back there and inside of there, which now I'll jump back to this side, there's where your household outlets are. So if you've got a CPAP machine or an alarm clock or anything that needs to be plugged in to help you sleep at night, you can stick it back there and it's easier access than if it's out here in front of the, uh, in front of the wardrobe. You do have hanging storage on both sides of the bed. I'll only open this one side and then up here, you have got great overhead cabinets. And notice that see-through glass thing. I think that's, I think that is so neat. Um, it really gives it a nice pop, I think. There is storage underneath the bed and you'll notice the accent wall, kind of that shiplap uh, style. Um, this is, it, which, oh, pardon me, I lost my train of thought. Um, there is storage underneath the bed and let's go ahead and take a look at that. Which, okay, so you have got uh, access to your pass-through storage. You've also got these nice little bins that act more like a dresser, which is kind of cool. And then below that, you've got a spot to put your shoes, which again is really cool. If you want TV in the bedroom, you have a, a spot for it over on that wall, which you can kind of see right up here along the ceiling. Cross breeze windows, and that's that nice vertical window even opens, which is great. Um, you still have the roller blinds in here. Um, this is a 60 by 74 inch bed, by the way, but if you really wanted to, you could put in an 80 inch bed. Um, you might sacrifice some of the walk around ability just slightly, um, but there is more than enough room for you to put a real queen size mattress in here. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the inside. 
let's go ahead and we'll take a look at some of the outside features on this Salem 22 RB. All right guys, so we're on the outside of this 2020 Salem uh, 22 RB and uh, these have really changed as far as their look from the last year. They lightened up the exterior just a little bit, added the blue back in, which I'm kind of a sucker for that electric blue. Um, let me know what you think of the look on the outside in the comment section below. Um, you've got the same aerodynamic front cap that they've always had, or front end, I should say, that they've always had. Uh, you've got 30-pound uh, tanks. They do give you 20-pound bottles, though. Uh, power tongue jack. And then back here, you're going to have, but you can kind of see it right there, you've got a handy battery disconnect back there for that 12-volt fridge so you can kill all power to it. Over here, you've got a side mount solar print. Uh, nice big baggage door on this side does have the magnetic catches and as you can see from in here you've got tons of pass-through storage um, again you can see where you can lift up the bed and get to some of that um, but the, again this is more pass-through stores that you typically get in this class and category all right and pardon some of my terrible camera work um, <laughs> I, I apologize. Uh, I'm breaking my routine a little bit. Um, we've got a lot of stuff, and so I'm trying to get through them as quickly as possible. Uh, so bear with me if any of the camera work is a little erratic or spontaneous. Um, you've got power jacks on this one. That's an option that we chose to do. Uh, there's your six gallon gas electric water heater. You do have outside speakers. They do have the blue LED lights in them. Uh, your furnace intake electrical outlets are in there as well big old power awning that does have the led light strip in it as well which is great um, and the next thing i want to talk about is their tough coat oops is their tough coat so this if you go onto a lot and look at a salem or a wildwood like i, I keep saying they're the same thing you'll notice that this has kind of a textured feel to it and they have like an uh, I believe it's an anti-scratch coating on there. So if, if you uh, hit, run into some low hanging branches, it's not going to mess up your siding as easily. And uh, this is also a little bit thicker than traditional. Um, I forget the exact, uh, I forget the exact uh, measurement of their aluminum, but I know this, this generation here is about one and a half times as thick as that one give or take um again i don't remember i apologize i don't that i don't have the uh exact measurements of the uh, aluminum or thickness of the aluminum uh but this is the better stuff so you've got the uh coming back here you've got the uh lippert solid step nice uh that's a nice step system you that has the adjustable feet will fold up inside the door and uh, it's so solid whenever, whenever you're walking up and down it uh, on the lot or at your campsite. Bigger entry assist handle, and this does have the friction hinge entry door, so it'll stop wherever I want to put it. And it's rated to about a 20 mile an hour wind, which is nothing if you live in the Texas Panhandle, but it's better than the, uh, the traditional style that they used to use. Again, here's your electric stab jacks. Your spare tire is up here. Backup camera prep up there. Um, all Salem's have a fully walkable roof, which is great. And then back here is your uh, city water and black tank flush. That's a new feature, um, which I, that'll rinse out your sewer, sewer tanks, which is great. Over here, you've got your 30 amp uh, connection cable and satellite. And then here is your dump station with the appropriate valves. And we are gonna walk around the front of this unit because these are a little close, closer than I would have done. All right. So one of the other cool things, and I encourage you to get your hands on this unit what I mean by that is get off the computer, get off of YouTube, go out, look at it in person. And one thing I want to show you 
which let's see if I can do this. All right. So as you can see up there, you now have an enclosed heated underbelly. And these are plastic panels and they're in four by eight sheets. The cool thing about that is if you ever have a water leak or something that needs to be serviced, you don't have to cut into the underbelly like you used to. You can drop one of these panels and get to whatever you need to and then screw it back into place. And they're ABS plastic. This is a game changer. Most travel trailers don't use this. Most fifth wheels don't use this, except for your very, very, very high end stuff, which again is great. And they used to not have this, which this is going to be a game changer in the uh, in the entry level class and category, I think. Um, and I really am glad that they decided to do that. All right. So again, guys, this is the 2020 Salem by Forest River 22 RB. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Um, if you're interested in this unit, feel free to email me at contact at custom-rv.com. You can also reach us by phone at 806-335-2336. You can also view all of our available inventory at www.custom-rv.com. Uh, again, or keep in mind that we do not do hidden dealer fees like the big dealerships. Uh, price C is the price you pay plus taxes and any accessories that you might add. Um, so again, thanks for watching guys. Have a, and have a wonderful weekend.